Hi guys, just making a quick video on a heater that went to, that stopped working in case of an emergency to get it back going. This is the doctor heater. Um, so before I did anything, you know, this was on here and this sticker is covering that. And so to get the screws, to get into this panel, you have to peel this sticker off. There's another video from a doctor heater company on how to peel this sticker off. Actually, you could peel it off carefully like I did and it, it's still good. So I don't even really need to order a new one. Um, and then this is on here with four screws. There's one, two, three, four, right, in the corners. So you take those out. And then um, the switch that these two wires are connected. First of all, make sure this thing's unplugged from the wall before you do this, please. These two wires are going into the main on-off switch on this panel. Okay, so that switch was here, okay? The wires were, this was all connected. Um, I tried all kinds of tuner carbon uh, uh, contact cleaner and it wasn't working, wasn't working. I started taking the switch more and more apart. Eventually the switch just fell apart into all these little pieces. So I said, you know what, let's give up on the switch. I'm just going to take these two wires. So I, I um, spliced them a little bit, took off some of the uh, insulation. I'm just going to twist them together, put a wire nut on, and we're going to see if it works. All right, so just by twisting them together, the unit is on. So that light was not coming on before when, when the switch was bad. Please don't operate it like this because there's electricity going through there. So, you know, you can get shocked. I know that this is the where the corresponding on here, there's four buttons on the bottom. That's, that's these buttons here, right? So this is the uh, button that turns it on. And we have heat. Okay, if you want to raise the temperature, it's this button. Okay, 78. Now listen, uh, if you're going to do this, at the very least, put a wire nut over it. So I'll show you what I mean. This. Okay, so now we have a wire nut over it. We don't have to worry about getting shocked. And um, we can go ahead and turn it on again. Raise the temperature. This is the temperature down. So if you want to know what, what does what, you can just look here. So the rightmost button is mode, and you have up, down, and then you have standby, which I never use. I mean, basically, all that top button is doing were these two wires that, that I spliced together. That was your main power button. So now what happens is power is always on. So when you plug it into the wall, the unit is on. Uh, this particular unit doesn't start right up anyway when when you plug it in um, it goes into standby mode as you saw when I had to raise the temperature so you could operate it like this for a little bit I mean it's obviously not safe don't don't do it uh, but in an emergency you can do it and this is this has got me going and uh, you know basically um, I'm gonna order a new switch from dr. heater install it and put it all back together but I uh, just wanted to put this out there in case anyone has the same kind of issue all right, hope you like this one. Uh, please like it, share it, subscribe, all that stuff. And uh, I'll see you on the next video. Thank you.